Hi everyone, my name is Julie and I am the host of Conquer College Admissions YouTube channel. If this is your first time landing on my YouTube video, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I release new videos every single week. Be a quick intro, I am a USC and Harvard graduate and I now help and mentor and guide high school students to use their passion to get accepted into their dream Ivy League and top tier. So if this is your first time, welcome. And today in this video, what I'm going to talk about is nine common mistakes that I see so many high school students and parents and families making when it comes to visiting colleges. And since the summer is starting, I thought this would be a perfect time to talk about college visits, so let's go ahead and get started. Mistake number one is when you are trying to visit four to five or even more colleges in one day. That's kind of impossible. And so you really need to space out your time. And usually I tell my students inside my program to go for one to two colleges per day. And that's because we always want to focus on quality over quantity. And there's so many things that you should be doing while you are on your college visit. So if you're just trying to go to as many places as possible, that's actually going to go against you. So keep in mind, too many colleges in one day is a very, very bad idea. And especially if you're traveling to cities like New York and Los Angeles, getting by, parking, getting to the destination, from the parking spot to the admission office, there's a lot of buffer time in between. So make sure that you are going for quality over quantity. Mistake number two is when students don't contact or network or email or reach out to college admission officers before they actually visit. So it's really important that you keep a good relationship with the college admission officers and the best way to do so is by asking good questions about their program, about their extracurriculars, on-campus opportunities, or any questions you have about the school. You know, this is a school that you'll be attending for four years. It's an investment financially, time-wise. So you really want to make sure that you're very curious about the school and getting all of your questions answered and right before you do go visit the school in person you can let the college admission officer sir know oh by the way i'll be visiting soon i hope to see you in person so it's really important that you keep a relationship with the school and with the college admission officer Mistake number three, I see this happen so many times. Oh my goodness. So it's when students go on college visits and they go through the tour, the info session, they do all of this, all of these things that they should be doing. And then they come home and they have absolutely no contact information. If a college admission officer is in front of the room doing a presentation about the school or giving you guys a tour or, you know, doing something with you, it's important that you approach them at the end of the info session or in a presentation and ask them for their name and for their email address or for their business card um, and just ask good questions during that time as well. You need to bring the, the card, the contact info so that you can go ahead and send a very good thank you email. And the thank you email could also consist of questions as well, keeping the relationship going. Are you getting the theme here? <laughs> Mistake number four is when students and families visit during the summertime. And I know that's inevitable sometimes because that's when school is out and maybe that's when your parents have their vacation days from work. So you actually wanna visit when the school's in season, which means that all the classes are actually being taught at that time. And you can also see current students who are going about their day, attending classes, so that you really just get the campus feel. Because if you go during summertime, a lot of schools have construction going on. Only a few classes are available for sit-ins and for shadowing. And so, I mean, if summer is the only time you can go, that's fine. However, I seriously recommend when schools in season and when you can actually visit the professors that you've contacted prior to going to the campus and or you can meet a couple of current students maybe you can also visit some of the clubs and events that they have going on so you really just get the campus vibe mistake number five is a serious one you guys <laughs> it's when parents are taking notes during the campus tour and in the info session this process is not for the parents this is for the student maybe the parents want to take notes and yeah that's i guess if you really want to take some important notes down that's okay but if you are always taking notes but if the student's just like chilling you know, going on smartphone, just like staring at the window, thinking, why am I here? My mom dragged me. That's definitely something you don't want to do. So parents, please 
do not take notes during the info session. The students should show the most interest and should be taking notes. And so I give my students inside my program a couple of questions and notes that they should be taking while they're there so they know what types of notes to take and what kind of information that they should have with them after their visit. Mistake number six is when students just go to the campus info session and the tour or any other events they have for prospective students, and then they don't talk to any current students. So it's really important that you interview about three to four current students and just ask them about, you know, what is it that you like about the school? What is it that you don't like about the school? We always focus on what's good about something, but it's really important to understand, okay, what are some drawbacks? And obviously it's even though it's three people, you're going to get so much good information from them than to just like to go on the school website because the school website is pretty informational where you can't really understand like, okay, if there's this club, like, is it really that interactive? Is it really going to get me the internship, right? You don't really know those subtle details. So please talk to a current student. Mistake seven is when students go into this campus tour and campus visit without having any questions prepared to ask the college admission officers. You should have about one to two academic questions and one to two personal questions. And I really go through this process inside my program with my students. Like, okay, this question's good enough or like this question's not good enough. So if you're my student watching this, you know that I'm really like picky about what types of questions you ask, but you should have three good three to four questions ready so that you can ask them to the college mission officer or anyone that you see um, representing the school there. Mistake number eight is when you do not visit the school or the department that you're trying to get into. So if you're trying to go into the engineering school, business school, um, art school, you know, wherever that, you know, wherever or whatever your major is, you want to visit their department, attend their info session, attend their like meet. Some schools offer like one on one meetings where you can ask them questions. And so it's really important that if you do know your, what your major is, you get a good feel for the school as well. Some students just go into the general info session and tour and they just come back. It's like, okay, well, like, aren't you trying to go there so they can study computer science or business? Um, so it's really important that you visit the department and that specific school as well. Mistake number nine, which is the last one for today's video, is when you go to the school without having any of your story or bio prepared. You're going to come across a lot of other students. You're also going to come across college admission officers there, reps there, and they're going to ask you, like, who are you? Where are you from? What is your story? What do you want to do? Why do you want to come here? And when you are asked with those questions, you should be ready to share your story, usually about two to three sentences, so that you're positioning yourself as someone who is confident, who who knows a lot about the school already and you're ready to learn more obviously and that you have the story to tell them and I always tell my students that a college application is a form of storytelling so if your application lacks that storytelling flow or it doesn't really demonstrate your values and qualities and your passions and your interests then it's kind of like okay who are you <laughs> right so it's really important that you do know what your story is and you go into these info sessions and tours and events and meetings knowing that your story is ready to be shared. And also, if you are speaking with a professor, I have my students usually visit professors on their visit, um, then you also know that you can share that story with the professor as well. And regardless of the college admission process or not, you should know what your story is. You should know how to position yourself. You are a high school student now. So if you're just like saying, oh, I live in Texas and I like science, come on, we can do better than that, right? We're aiming for Ivy Leagues and top tier here. And obviously, you know, it's, you have to sell yourself you have to position yourself the right way and it's a life skill that you need to have right so all right so those were the nine mistakes that you should avoid at all cost when you are preparing to visit or when you are visiting your colleges and universities all right so i hope you enjoyed this video i will be back here next week for more and don't forget that we have our Facebook group, Conquer College Remissions. We have our YouTube channel right here, so please subscribe. We also have our podcast, Demystifying College Remissions podcast. And we also have our step-by-step -step online course, Ivy League Top Tier Bootcamp. And all of the information will be in the show notes, so definitely check it out. If you want to take your college admissions journey to the next step with more confidence, determination, motivation, strategy, um, all the right resources, feel free to book a strategy session with me. It's a one-on-one -on -one video call where we'll assess whether you would be a good fit for our program or not.
All right, you guys, have a great rest of your day or evening, and I'll be back here next week. Bye.